Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I'm just going to give you some tips on how to get the most out of your gyro stabilization if you're using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, 6K or 6K Pro. So let's jump right into it. Number one, if you want your footage to look more like a gimbal, I would recommend you to do the heel toe walk or the ninja walk, which you would do if you're using a stabilization. If you want to move in a different way, you're going to get bumps into your footage and you want to avoid that. So do the ninja walk or the heel toe walk if you want to smoothen out your footage. Number two, the amount of shutter speed or in this case shutter angle. If you use the 180 degree rule, it can sometimes give a bit of bump or motion blur and you want to avoid that. So change the shutter angle into something else and you can see the examples right here to smoothen out that. And if you're worried about motion blur, you can always add that back in in the Vinci Resolve in post. If you want to know how to do that, take a look at this video right up here. Tip number three, it's no surprise if you shoot in a higher frame rate, it's going to make your footage look more smooth and of course more cinematic. So of course, just do that and it's super easy to do in the camera. Just go into the menu and change the frame rate or push the high frame rate button at the corner if your camera is set up correct. Tip number four is to level up your shot. You can do that by using the horizon level found in the camera and that's going to help you do exactly that. Tip number five, shoot wider than you normally would. Because of the gyro stabilizations, the way it works, it's going to zoom in your image. So that's going to change how you frame your shot. So just shoot wider and alternative. Use frame guides so you can actually see what you're sacrificing of your shot. And that can of course be found inside of the menu of the camera as well. And the last and most important tip is if you're shooting with manual lenses, you need to go in and adjust the focal length in the metadata. And you can do that by swiping from the right and just going into the menu and change that number so it's more correct. If you do not do this, the gyro stabilization or the data is not correct and it's going to have a hard time to give you this most smooth and best looking stabilization. So please do that if you're using manual lenses. So that's all for this video and all of the different tips if you want to use the gyro stabilization. If you like this kind of content, please do consider to subscribe and then um, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.